Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Shantae the Switch Port. And I'm here in the desert, just outside of the Golem Mine. <clears throat> and I'm starting to get kind of annoyed with this game. Not, not with Shantae in general, but with the Switch port, because it's proven to be unexpectedly buggy. Yeah, it's proven to be oddly buggy. I mean, between the first episode and the second, it looked like I had lost my save file and then found it again <clears throat> and then lost it again. And that's what caused... That caused me a bit of confusion about midway through the second episode. You might remember that, where I had some stuff I didn't have and I didn't have some stuff I should have had in my inventory. And then, of course, in the previous episode, the game literally blue-screened on me when I picked up the instant I picked up one of the warp squids. So, yeah, kind of not very good. Okay, I'm not picking up any more of these because I want to leave the hearts there just in case I need them. Hopefully I can recreate my progress without too much trouble. Oh, that one I know is a gem. The one above it is a heart, but that one's a gem. Definitely worth getting. Come on, come on. Yeah, hopefully it doesn't take me too long to recreate my progress. Oh, that was a hard. Okay. <clears throat> this game is usually pretty good about putting some kind of sign that, about whether or not there's a hidden passage. And you know what? From now on, right before I'm about to grab a heart squid, I'm going to open the pause menu and save the state, just in case. Locked doors in here. Yeah. Okay, let's put this to the test. All right. So that one was safe. I wonder, is it was it that particular warp squid, or is it just something that could happen any time? in this room with these things when they're the same color as me, very dangerous. Oh man, I keep getting hearts when I don't really need them. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a bit congested right now. Alright, so I need to go across the top here. Now that I'm red, I can 
lure this guy out. And there we go. You can crawl into that spiky area, but, you know, I would strongly recommend against it. Okay. Can't go through here yet. I'm leaving those jars behind, just in case they contain hearts. And do I want to stay red or do I want to go blue? Let's stay red. So much in this place that I can't quite remember any of it. Oh yeah, I wanted to say red, that's for sure. Come on, where's the way up? I know there's a way up here somewhere. Hmm. that first one to drop a heart when I didn't need it, and now that I do need it, dropping gems. Uh, another heart, okay. I knew there was a way up there. Well, anyway, taking care of all of those guys, so if I'm blue when I come back through here, <laughs> which I will be. I don't have to worry about them hurting me. Oh, that's dumb. Oh, darn it. I was trying to maneuver myself so I ended up underneath that platform. Ow. Darn it. didn't go very smoothly. And now, monkey dance. Trouble with the timing on this. Stand back up. can, but I need to be the monkey to fit up there. There we go. Alright. Heart. 
Thank you for freeing me. Once I was a guardian of this labyrinth, but a terrible creature imprisoned me here for your kindness. I will teach you a magical dance you can use to foil evil. Watch closely. Down left for this one. And we'll view it on the subscreen. Never forget them. Well, again, if you do forget them, you can just review, like she said, so. I think I want to stay blue. That means I have to go up and... Oops. That means I have to go up and over. I need to be the monkey for that. I could have turned red back there, but then I'd just turn blue again here. No problem though. Since I got rid of all the blue enemies up there, I can go through there any color I want. Alright, so I don't have a key. I do, however, have an elephant dance. out of here as the elephant. and dodging around much better this time than he did last time. Last time I just annihilated him right away. But then my game blue screened and I lost that progress. Yay. Okay, I remember actually all the way back up at the top there was an elephant block See what's in here. Some kind of mini boss, it would appear. Ah, another magnet. Okay. I happen to be the right color for this.
Well, that was useful. Another key. So now I should have two of them. Unfortunately, the inventory doesn't tell me that. Later games in the series streamline that by putting the keys you have right out on the front screen here. They put icons in one of the corners to tell you how many keys you've got. But this game hadn't quite figured that part out yet. Am I the correct color for this? Yes, I am. Here's where it blue screened last time. Okay, so it looks like it's not that specific warp squid that's glitched. Just ran afoul of a general bug or glitch in the game. Could do the elephant, but that's kind of slow. There we go. Takes me time to do the transformation. So that's a third key that I've got now. Alright. What else is over here? Yeah, I'm still learning the timing on this. Well, I think I wanted to stay the elephant, actually. For that, yeah. Oh, bad. Very bad. Okay. Let's see about turning blue. Actually, let's see about getting some healing. My goodness. Okay, I just re I just realized something. There's two ways into that area off to the left. And the reason for that is because one of them is blocked by a red brazier. And the other one has no brazier in front of it. So to be red, you have to go through the lower door. And to be blue, you have to go through the upper door. Okay, I figured that out now. And there's at least one heart, a big heart up here that I bypassed before. So with a bit of backtracking. There we go. Anything else? Ah, okay. Full health. Excellent. So, I want to go through the upper door. This way. And then down here. And through here. And now, these guys won't hurt me, and the ch chest with, with probably another key will follow me. Oh dear, I don't want to go under the spikes. Whew. What's up here? 
one up. Excellent. Okay, I'm feeling a little bit paranoid, so... Let's not take any chances. Alright, I believe that's pretty much everything. So now I want to go back down. Let's call the platform here. I don't need it right now, but maybe I'll be coming back this way. I don't know. Well, that took a while. Okay. go. And there's another warp squid. Yeah, I said before that I thought at the beginning that you could get all warp squids without having to come back later with more powers, but you know, it looks like I was wrong. And now that I think about it, that's two warp squids I have not gotten. There's another one. Getting pretty close to the to the labyrinth boss, I believe. And I would like to have at least four warp squids when I get out of here. here, but I've already gotten it. I'm pretty sure there was another one up here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Hmm. Oh, didn't want to be the elephant. Let's try that again. seeing those guys there. Rather than on a platform above me. Alright. Monkey. Come on. There we go. That timing is still just dogging me. And looks like that window's just decoration. Okay, I've already been here.
Pretty sure I've already been here too. There is definitely one more warp squid that I can get. I might have been wrong that you can get all of them, but I am sure that you can get four out of the five. question is, where is the fourth that I have not found yet? down, I mean to say. there's some kind of visible sign when there's a secret passage nearby. And now there was a warp squid in here, but I've already got it. This is where my game blue screened last time. And then there was one down below. I already got that one too. So 
about halfway down the shaft. Squids usually are not found at the beginning unless they're right out in the open behind some kind of obstacle that you can't get through yet. Okay, so there's nothing on this pass on the walls of this passage. Now that I think about it, there is that tunnel over here. I'm not sure I explored this one fully. Oop. Well, that was clumsy. Ahaha! Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah, I'm paranoid now. Okay, no blue screen. Excellent. So, four warp squids. That is all that I need. Now I can proceed to the end. The fifth one, yeah, it's annoying to leave it behind, but I just believe that I can't get it. I think I need the transformation from the third labyrinth. The next one, in order to get this one and the one back in the dribble fountain. Okay, full health. And And here we are. Yoo-hoo! Gollum Stone! Come to Mama! I'm onto you, Risky Boots! You're trying to rebuild the steam engine using all four magical relics. Well, well, you're a smart little tag-along. This single piece of Gollum Stone is the only metal strong enough to hold the other stone's power. Once I have all four stones in my possession, I'll create the most powerful weapon this world has ever seen! Ho-ho-ho! What? <clears throat> yeah, this fight is actually fairly easy as long as you know what you're doing. Unfortunately, I don't really know what I'm doing. Come on, elephant. Darn it. There we go, finally. Oh. 
There you go. Ram into the side of his head. And just keep ramming until he dies. What? Why was the screen shaking? Oh, wow. Talk about buggy. <laughs> I'm glad my game didn't blue screen again there. Boss coming back like that. Wrench, you're back. What's this, a note from Sky? It reads, Dear Shantae, someone named Roddy Tops replied to my message. She says she knows the whereabouts of the next magical stone. She travels with the zombie caravan, which is camped east of Watertown. Hope this helps. Friends always, Sky. Ka! Sounds like my next stop, all right. I better go find that caravan. Yeah, the zombie caravan is difficult to find most of the time. But this one time, the first time, it's always going to be in the same place. Yeah, since it's a caravan, it moves around. And furthermore, since it's a zombie caravan, you can only ever find it at night. So you never really know for sure where it's going to be. Actually, that's not true, because it has a set pattern for where it shows up. And as long as you know where it is on one night, you know where it's going to be the next. However, because I have four warp squids, when I get there, I'll just pop them into the warp squid hut at the zombie caravan, and then I can always find it, period. However, first I want to get back to Oasis Town, because my life power is kind of low. So it's down, up, right, right, A, B. Down, up, right, right, A, B. And let's... Save the state. Down, up, right, right, A, B. So I can use the bathhouse now. Come on, go in, Sante. Thank you. I mean, I was jabbing the up button on the D-pad and she wasn't going in. Okay, let's see. Save room, bathhouse. Here we go. holding down the run button when I exited the building and once again I automatically talk to this guy. Save room. Okay. Save record. Now. Now, because I put my warp squids here, that means I'm going to have a very long walk because I have to get all the way back to Watertown and then go past Watertown even further to find the zombie caravan. But it also means I can come back to the gecko game as often as I want to grind for money. Yeah, it's a bit of a wrench, figuratively, since that's where wrench lives. Um, anyway, it's a bit of a wrench to have to go this far, but in my opinion, it's worth it in the long run. Because I can grind money at the gecko game whenever I want, and I'm going to have to go off to the west eventually. find, I believe, the fourth labyrinth, or maybe the third, no, fourth. The fourth labyrinth is off to the west. Come on down, lady. Come on down, thank you.
I sometimes wonder if those tall worm monsters were inspired by the tall worm monsters in the desert areas of Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Because that's the only other game I can think of that had ever really featured monsters like that before this. I mean, I suppose there were probably more, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. So we're almost back to Scuttletown. That's pretty good. clumsy about when I jump. That, la that one attack had, it was chasing me like four or five screens of distance. Anyway, back to the warp squids. I decided to put the first set into Oasis Town. So that I could get there to grind money. But you know, that's, that's arguable at best. It's perfectly reasonable to think that the better choice would be Scuttle Town or even Water Town. And if you did put it in Water Town, you would certainly cut down on your walk at this point. Go down this ladder and then go back up. Let's 
is where I got the heart holder. Heart holder. If I jump, if I fall into the spikes again, it'll send me back to this ladder instead of the previous one. I should have thought of that before. Oh darn! I did the elephant. All oh, right, that, that's starting to become a rather annoying mistake. Okay, made it back to Scuttletown. Where's the bathhouse? I should have talked to Sky while I was in Oasis Town. Because all of your friends have new things to say after each labyrinth. But I am not going all the way back there just for that. Sky told you to head for the zombie caravan? How frightening. Head east past Watertown and you'll find it. Maybe someone there can tell you more. Okay, even though I'm using save states, I'm also going to use the save rooms. Just so that I have the double... The uh, double insurance in case the worst happens. Speaking of which... this area. Could run right under him. But I chickened out. Yeah, I've got this on I got the heart holder up there. Oops. Okay, I made it through there with a, only a little bit of grief. the spiders when they're up there. Okay, it's gone back to daytime. Not all that much better really, but... Okay! This tree stump. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it the first time I came through here. It, you went the wrong way, Shantae. It hides a ladder. Like, I was able to stand in the inside the spider, and it didn't hurt me. That's unexpected. Not the secret passage I thought it was. Okay. Hmm. Or maybe 
I'm just forgetting because I'm rusty. No, that doesn't help. And I can't elephant charge when I'm in the air. Okay, yeah, this is not the secret passage I thought it was. There's a hidden area that you can't get to until you gain the elephant transformation so that you can open the blockage that keeps you from getting through in the first place. And I thought that was the one I was looking for, but no, it's not. I believe I've also mentioned before, if you can walk through a tree stump, you cannot elephant charge it. If you elephant charge this one, you would fall right into the pit and lose a life. Now, up there is something important. But you can't get up there yet. At least I don't believe you can. possible to climb some of the trees. Not this tree, unfortunately. Ah, but I can climb this one. Uh, nope, can't quite jump far enough. Okay, so it might be in this mountain area over here, the secret area I was thinking of. is dodging my attacks really well, which is kind of annoying. Ah, I was hoping he fell to his death. Get her snakes! Bad. Good. Let's go down before anything else happens. Another heart. Oh, yes. Okay. Alright, this is the area I was thinking of. Another part of the forest that you can get through s using that crawl space. For some reason, I was thinking I needed to elephant charge my way through a blockage. Oh, maybe I do. But that will be for later. Come on, monkey. There we go. I want to climb the wall here. I don't remember exactly where I am. Alright, right, where was that here? Elephant charge. Now this might be the other side of that secret tunnel I was mentioning earlier. I was in. Yeah, this is the other side of that secret tunnel. 
So now I've opened up a shortcut between the forest up above and this new forested area that I just found. You never have to come here, but there is something nice if you do. Hit them once to daze them, and then you hit them again while they're dazed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is where I can find something good. In order to do that, I need to be able to... Okay, that's interesting. The spiders themselves don't hurt me. Only their shots hurt me. Okay, now I need the monkey transformation. Oh, and I hit elephant again. I need the monkey transformation to climb up here. And now I need the elephant transformation to open that stump. And I'm at the very top, can't go any higher. So I could get here before, but without the elephant transformation, I couldn't have gotten in here. And getting in here... And this guy's blocking my way. Well... To take out this guy, notice he has a lightning rod on his head. Zap. This must be the monkey claw. This talisman will allow me to attack in monkey form. Yes. So now the monkey is a bit more hard wearing. Because I have not forgotten the blue screen of death from before. Yeah, the Monkey Claw actually has a pretty solid attack. It does the same amount of damage as the Hair Whip, but it has a much larger area of effect. Not just straight in front, but also a little bit above and below. Interesting. I didn't change back to Shantae form, I was still in the monkey form. Heart 
Yes, I needed that. And my recording software tells me that we're past the one hour mark. I want to be able to climb up eventually. I knew you were there. But I can't quite yet. Alright. I want to be able to climb up from down there is because that firefly is there. But the monkey climb can't do it for me because the walls are kind of shaped in a way that the monkey can't actually get up there. So it'll be a little while before I can get up there. But that's for a later episode, obviously. We're done with this episode. Saying, we're done with this episode. Alright, viewers, thank you very much for watching this episode of Let's Play Shantae Switch Port. This has some grooving to send us out. I'll see you in the next episode as I proceed on to the zombie caravan and do stuff with the zombies there. And we meet what become who becomes a familiar old friend but as of yet we've not met her before roddy tops of course who's already been name dropped i'll see you then